Hey guys, welcome back to Yo-Kai Watch 2, and in this episode, we're gonna knock out some key quests while our grandma's kind of cooking dinner and hopefully find some new Yo-Kai here in Harrisville. And Jabanyan, I just want to apologize. I did not have any idea the weather app would actually have next Hamyani on it. I, I, what can I say? I didn't think it'd be cat themed, but then again, this is Yokai Watch. But yeah, that's what that looks like. I was kind of making fun of him in the previous episode. And hey, what's going on over here, bro? And hey, you're new around here, aren't you? Well, me and my friends are gonna play hide and seek. You should play too. Here's how we play. If you can catch six of us in two minutes, you win. Uh, all right, sure, I'll go for it. Why not? And all right, let's do it. Our, uh, okay, so the first key quest we gotta. Knockout is playing hide-and-go-seek, and I just want to be the first to say this is the easiest hide-and-go-seek ever. You would have to try to not succeed at this, because seriously, no way, how'd you catch me? And apparently they teleport away like yokai, all right, and what? That's it? Yeah, you probably shouldn't be near the entrance to my grandma's house, and even the speedy kid couldn't stop. I lost, but my speed, it can't be. Yeah, it can be, bro, because... Hate to break it to you, you guys aren't that fast, but yeah, they try and either run away and some of them hide behind stuff like they're hiding behind this shrine and well, that was my best idea. <laughs> yeah, I guess not, sorry, but I don't know, I think this is kind of cool, at least to get you accustomed to the area and yeah, you're not that fast and I was going like Mach 20, how'd you get me? All right, Miss Mock, and uh, yeah, here's the last one. There's actually more kids, but uh, you're good, you're really good. Yeah, to be fair though, I don't know if I'm good at playing hide and go seek or you guys are just really bad at hiding. Maybe it's a little bit of both and no, I lost. You're faster than you look. You know that, let's play again sometime. All right, bro, as long as you have some more yokai items you can give me. If so, that'd be pretty darn cool Charm. and charmed. I love that one. Although I do miss when you go charmed. That's, I don't know. The voice actor for Whisper is actually, he can go way higher than I can, but uh, we have a Hermes badge and an Aurora badge. Whoa, that looks really cool, okay. So it takes our spirit down and increases speed. So it's the opposite of the Hermes badge in a sense. That's actually not bad. Okay, I'm gonna get the Aurora badge, mostly because it looks really, really cool, and I believe it's a new item exclusive to this game, but we got our bonus scene. Come on, come on. Nice. I think we've already seen that one. I really hate to see what the, the boo for that is, because that'd be really depressing. Also, we got a dancing star, so now we can start to unlock some more uh, ending animations, and that's pretty cool, but you know what? You guys are pretty, uh, you know, it, it was fun playing hide and go seek and winning almost instantly. I'm in the mood to see some yokai though, and huh? All right, we're getting a little bit closer. Wait. Are you a yokai, mister? Is the sun setting already? Well, then I must be daydreaming all day. Uh, I guess he's not a yokai. I guess under his house is the yokai. Okay, which one is it gonna be? Oh, it's Yoink! No way! Okay, I actually kind of do want to get this yokai because from what I can gather, he's actually pretty darn good once you level him up a bit. And oh my gosh, I still haven't shown off Komasan and Komajiro. I gotta do that too. But yeah, Yoink, who we saw in the first... Technically, second chapter, and eh, it really depends what you call the chapters and stuff, but yeah, he's all by himself. Now, the sort of weird thing is, I can't actually see what his favorite food is yet, so I'm gonna be on the defensive side, start out with my healing row, and find out. So he likes sushi. Currently, we have no sushi, so I hope a leaf rice ball is good enough for you. And now that we fed him, eh, I guess Hungramps and Brushido can get some combat in, why not? But yeah, he's of the bony spirits, apparently, and we're gonna learn a little bit more about that in a uh, couple episodes from now, but yeah, I'm gonna try and stall out the best I can for the Wisp to appear. It's not looking like it's coming, though, and oh, Baku hit herself. I think it's a her, because in Yokai 1, they refer to Baku as a girl, and oh, energetic gulp. I guess we would see that soul submit if... Yoink wasn't so weak, but yeah, he's a D-rank. From what I can gather, though, he does have a future. What is that future? I'm not too sure. And oh, we got another lottery ticket. Awesome, so we can go play with that. And, oh man, we didn't get him. Well, hey, at least we know that Yokai is here, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, there's some other key quests we need to do here in Harrisville. And the next one's right here. 
in the temporal of virtue. Okay, well, what's going on there? And hey, you look like Mr. Zen, and you've got some yokai with you. Could it be? Whisper, does he mean fusing yokai? Didn't Mr. Zen from Shoten Temple ask you the same thing before? If so, we might still be in time. Oh, no, no. I mean sorcery. That is really funny. Sorcery of yokai. Soul saucing? What the heck is he talking about? <laughs> sorcery. It's called sorcery. Sorcery. That's hard to say. It's the art of crystallizing yokai energy into solid objects called soul gems. If you give them some so yokai, their abilities will be boosted. Oh. And if you have two identical gems, you can fuse them together! What? Then the yokai give the gem to you a bigger boost! Excellent. That's amazing. Whisper, are you sure you actually understand? <laughs> of course I understand! I get it perfectly. Definitely. No doubt. Maybe. <sighs> <laughs> you should try it! It's fun! Okay, so sure. And since we're kind of required to, we might as well. Very well. Without further ado, let's begin sorcery with yokai! That's what I would say to you normally, but we have a little bit of a problem. What do you mean by problem? I can cast the sorcery on yokai, but I need a bamboo shoot to do it! You need a bamboo shoot? Yep, but I'm totally out of them at the moment. They sell them down at Mountain Market. Do you mind getting me one? It would be my pleasure. We'll go and get you one right away. Why do you need a bamboo shoot for sorcery? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. And this is why in a previous episode I told you, you should probably pick one of these up. And yeah, since I already have one, we can give it to him. Oh, you got a bamboo shoot, you yeah, man. Yeah, I got one for you, bro. Here you go. Now you're gonna do this magic sorcery or what? And ah, that's one good bamboo shoot. The sorcery were great with this. How are you gonna use a bamboo shoot in sorcery anyway? It's my favorite food. One belly and I can perform. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. It's a snack? That's all? What do you mean, that's all? Fading body and soul isn't perfect. Uh, well, yes, it's important, but... I'm sure you want to do my best sorcery. This is how I get my results. <laughs> Let's get started. He's pretty casual, don't you think? But at least we can get him into finally doing some sorcery for us. Yeah, so basically here's the rundown on sorcery. Basically, we can turn certain yokai into soul gems, and then give them to yokai as equipment. Now there's a lot of different combinations, but think of this as a way to get rid of your old metals or duplicates that you don't really want. And some soul gems can be extremely powerful. However, yeah, once you fuse the yokai, or actually turn them into a soul gem, you can't get them back, so be careful. Also, you can combine two souls together to make an even stronger one, so that's pretty cool. And oddly enough, the game doesn't force you to actually complete a soul fusion. It just, all you had to do was get the bamboo shoot. I don't, I don't know why. I think if he gave us an example of fusion, a lot more people would use it. But yeah, I'm actually not too sure if this is still a mechanic in Yokai uh, Three or, or not. And oh, a lucky charm. <laughs> I like that naming. You know what? Actually, I'm not too sure which one I want. A Lucky Charm would be great for a healer, so I kind of want to give that to Hungramp, so I guess we'll pick that one up. And if I recall correctly, that's a new equipment as well, so that's pretty cool. And oh, alrighty. I, get, I, I was expecting something a bit more. And we got a getaway plush, nice. I wish I had a million of those, but sadly I don't. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a tiny, just example of what sorcery can look like. So we got a lot of yokai at the moment, and honestly, I don't think Snot So Long is gonna be used on the team. And I know someone out there is his biggest fan, and I feel so bad, but yeah, we're gonna turn him into a soul. Because why the heck not? And let's do this! Uh, all right then. And yeah, I just figured I'd show this animation off one time, and we got a not so long soul. Now, the soul itself probably doesn't do anything too spectacular, but we can strengthen it up and make it a bit stronger. But let's check it out. And wow, we're actually clearing these quests really quickly. I'm a bit surprised. But yeah, they have their own tab in our inventory and take slightly less damage from water attacks. Oh, well, that's not bad. So I guess we'd level this up and increase that effect. But yeah. There are some extremely powerful souls out there, and hopefully I'll be able to grab them. And one in particular can increase EXP gain, and it gets kinda crazy, but yeah, 
We won't be diving too deeply into that, although I really do want to go to the IPO and start to level up Komasan and Komajiro, why the heck not? And that will technically give us more charming unity if we link it up with Baku, Bushinyan, and Hung Ramps. So I kind of want to do that real quick. I know that's going to upset a couple people. It's not a permanent thing unless you guys want it to be, but come on, it's Komasan, guys. <laughs> I love this guy too much not to put him on my team, but yeah. Don't worry, Bushido's coming back. He's my boy after all, but for the time being, I just want to test these guys out and show off their unique power. So, when Komajiro and Komasan are together, their skills Alpha and Omega actually activate, meaning they get a lot stronger. And oh wow, Komasan's bony and Komajiro's fleshy. Now, a lot of people thought this shows which game these characters came from, or at least the medals. But it's actually not the case, and we'll get to that a bit later. But yeah, Komasan's still level 1, so we gotta level him up a bit, and hopefully we'll get into some battles in this episode that'll help us out. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll come back to the Harrisville Temple when it becomes appropriate. For right now, though, I can't really... Oh my gosh. So, Leo Doni, what are you doing out here? This way, this way. Uh, sure, I guess. What do you got for me, though? Hopefully it's a good item, but yeah, we'll come back there when it's more appropriate. For the time being, though, I can't really take advantage of the whole sor soul sorcery thing. Oh my gosh, that's so hard to say, guys. <laughs> you have no idea, but uh, not right now, and wonder what you'll get. Uh, I guess that's all dependent on what you give me, right? And a carrot. Wow, that was totally not worth it. Well, then again, it's... Oh, wow. There's another item here, though. Okay. T and it was a cucumber. Okay, why are there two veggies behind this... I thought if I followed him for a super long time, he'd give me something stinking awesome, but no. He just gave me something lame, whatever, it's not a big deal. Anyways, let's check out what this yokai is, and I think I already know what it's gonna be. Oh, yep, and a fly, alright. So that yokai isn't anything too spectacular, but whatever. A yokai I really want to talk to, though, is right here! What's up, Wall Kappa? Wall Kappa, is that you? What else would it be? I haven't seen you for a while, Nate! My, ma, we traveled all this way to Harrisville only to run into Wal Kappa. Perhaps fate has something interesting in store for us. Ah, oh, no. I hope this wasn't fate. Something terrible happened to me. I was just floating down the river around siesta time. Nothing new. When I woke up, I was drifting in the middle of the ocean. When I swam back to shore, I ended up here. That river sure took me for a ride. Wow, Wal Kappa's a deep sleeper. <laughs> oh, it wasn't falling asleep and woken up in a strange place before. <laughs> uh... What else are you gonna do now? Go home or... Huh? What am I gonna do now? Fish, obviously! The rivers around here are famous for the freshwater fish! Most Kappas search high and low for this place. I just stumbled upon it, but... Of course. Maybe it could be answered to all my problems. I'm having some... Uh... Difficulties. Wanna help? Uh... Sure, I guess. And no time for fishing. Um... Okay, and... Thanks a lot. I'm in a real pickle. I really appreciate your help with this. Uh, sure thing, man, and well, that's what I'm here for. So what's the problem? Ah, uh, yes, uh, like I said, the river is a top spot for fishing, especially downriver, but... <laughs> it's crawling with fish fonts and they keep it spear to me, dude! I can't fish in this condition! Condition? What kind of yokai are these Fitchafonts? Um, Fitchafonts, I, uh, yeah, we totally already have him. Let's see, Fitchafonts, Fitchaf... Uh, there we are! Oh my, when inspired by this yokai, victim feel an overwhelming urge to... To what? What are you saying? I'm good. I'm saying I gotta go! Oh, uh, that would make it hard to fish. That's saw it's flown water and... No, I know all about it! One day I'm gonna make those Fitchafonts pay! Well, Kappa's not the only one at risk. What if it's fun and spirit at school? That's a teacher's worst nightmare. Or mine. This river's full of them. But you just have three fish fonts. Make sure you don't get inspirited, though. Then I'll never fish again. Okay. Yeah, our buddy Wall Kappa really needs our help versus these. And oh, a stinky herb. I'm not sure what that item does. But yeah, if you're looking for the fish fonts, they're actually just down here. Nine times out of ten, they should be in this exact location, and yeah, I, I guess this t breaks a tiny bit of continuity since we already sort of recruited and befriended. Why isn't that kind of the same thing? Fidgetfon on the train on the way here, so when Nate's like, what the heck's a Fidgetfon? I just imagine our Fidgetfon metal just going, <laughs> he forgot to build me already, but no. These Fidgetfonts are inspired in our bro wall Kappa, and that is no good. So instead of politely asking them to leave, we're gonna beat their butts. <laughs> yeah, not the kindest thing in the world, but now, oh wow. It actually shows that we've already, in, like, 
recruited these yokai. That is such a good feature. Look at that. So I guess it already... Wait, why didn't the other ones have that? That's kind of odd, but... It looked like there was a metal on the yokai. But I guess it went away? I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, these guys honestly don't pose much of a threat. Really just don't have any fire attribute yokai, and you should totally be fine. And oh my gosh, I just remembered, there's something I want to show off. Well, crud, I gotta go back to Grandma's house eventually, but yeah, they're honestly just not that tough. All right, bro, we took care of those fidgefonts, and guess what, Wall Kappa? We chased the three fidgefonts right out of town. Already? I knew asking you for help was a good idea, Nate. Now I'll finally able to fish without <clears throat> distractions. I almost forgot. I want to give you a small token of appreciation. I accidentally brought more rods than I needed to the river today. Why did you take one as a thank you? Oh, well, that's really generous of you, Wall Kappa. Heck yeah, we got a fishing rod, and are you sure? That's a pretty awesome gift. I'm positive. Now that you have that rod, I can finally have a fishing buddy. Oh, boy. You know what I've always wanted to do with a fishing buddy? Have a fishing contest. What do you say, buddy? Nate, I think what Kappa just challenged you to a contest. How wonderful. I love winning contests. I'm in. What should we fish for? Your eagerness is charming. Beginners always have so much hope. Since we'll be fishing around here, I recommend fishing for carp. Carp? I think I can handle that. Now, you might come across a rare one. We're after normal carp today. I hope we believe in beginner's luck, Nate. <laughs> the first one to catch three carp wins. Ready, set, fish. All right, now we have our next objective, to go fishing, which means going all the way back to where the fidget fonts were, again. In Yokai 2, fishing has actually changed a fair bit. Now it isn't identical to the bug catching game, and in my opinion, it's a whole lot more fun. But basically, you find a fish, you cast your reel, and then try not to break your line. You need to keep it in the middle, just like reel fishing. Ideally, a little bit towards the end of the progress bar, because you don't want to not be pulling at all. But this is pretty much just like reel fishing. It's a tug and war contest, and you gotta be patient. Then, at the end, you just gotta give it your all and pull it out of the water, come on! And, yeah, it looks like I'm using the stylus. No, I'm just actually just mashing the A button, and it's way faster, and I hope this is another carp. So far, we're doing pretty good. We just need to get one more if we can just catch this one. And I don't know about you guys, but someone once told me, you know, all great games have fishing in them. And what if that's true? I mean, I know my favorite game of all time has fishing in it, and, well, a lot of other really great games do, too. But then again, I guess it's all and the eye of the beholder, and yeah, another carp, awesome, but yeah, I don't think there's any more carp left here, so I guess our only objective left is to get one more fish. That something tells me that won't be too hard. And all right, we got our third carp. Now it's time to turn in this quest to Wall Kappa. And all right, Wall Kappa, we got the last fish. Wall Kappa, look at this, I got three carp! That's gr- uh, Maybe just don't talk to me right now. Huh? But I won the contest, please! Forget about the contest, if I move an inch, I'll burst! Uh, uh, well, Kappa? What are you trying to say? I'm saying I gotta go! Oh, perhaps a fidgetpot inspired him while he was winning the contest. You did win the fidget contest, Nate. Congratulations, uh... Really? <laughs> Not bad for a beginner, huh? Stop! Just gotta go! I can't hold it any longer! Oh, god, alright, man. Don't worry about it so much, oh gosh. This poor guy, man. But yeah, we won the fishing contest, not gonna lie, it was kind of effortless since our opponent really couldn't move around much, and oh man, I'm so proud of you, Komasan, you're getting so powerful. I guess we'll show him off next episode, but we got an illusion ring or a fairy ring. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go with the defense down, because in my opinion, speed is the most important stat in the game. I'll probably talk that a bit more later, but it's not- oh, some new yokai! Oh my- Oh my gosh, my boy Rayolite did it! He saved his girl from the mud, and I guess himself, and whoa, bitter medicine, heck yeah, that's some really good reviving item. And now that we've finished up this quest, I guess the story has unlocked, and there's someone out there, everybody! What was that? I think I just heard someone yelling. Really? Why would anyone be yelling out here? It's so peaceful. Somebody help! That I heard. I think it's coming from the hill behind the house. Let's check it out, Nate. Come on. All right, so I, g I guess we never get a break in this game, but, uh... Hey, what the heck is this? It's a little weird. All right, I guess there's some weird statues out and about here, but yeah, we apparently heard some 
yelling in Mount Middletown. Okay, I guess it's not Mount Wildwood and no way another dungeon. Okay, this is pretty awesome. I'm not sure what level of yokai we're gonna encounter in here. And, oh my gosh! Okay, finally we get to talk about this. Well, I guess technically we could have talked about it earlier, but here in Mount Middletown, Middleton, whatever, you're gonna find the exclusive yokai if you are playing on Yokai Watch 2 Bony Spirits. Earwig. And I want to recruit this guy desperately. Their favorite food are hamburgers. And I really, really hope we get him because he looks really cool. But you know what? Let's let's mess around a bit with the back row. So we got Koma-san, his brother Komajiro. If everything goes according to plan, their abilities should... Oh, I don't want that to happen. Baku attacking poor old Koma-san would be a horrible idea. But yeah, hopefully... Oh, man. Oh, Koma-san got inspirited too, but yeah. These guys look pretty darn cool. I dig them a lot, and I really want to get one on my team. Although, there's just so many cool yokai. It's hard to decide which ones I want on my team and which ones I don't, but... I'm gonna try and stall out the battle a bit and see if we can actually get a wisp to appear. I'm not sure what part of mythology these guys are based on, but they just kind of look like cool dragons and... Earwig, huh? I guess they're going for the whole insect thing, but... Yeah, Komasan is still inspirited. You gotta get rid of that. Hopefully it's an easy one. Okay, it's just a rub. Come on, come on, come on. And if you're at all curious, if a yokai doesn't even participate in a battle, it still gets full experience, so that's not a problem. And so far, not much is going on, but oh, they have the ability Revenge, so that's pretty cool. Let's try and give, huh, let's try and give them some tasty nibbles. You know, everyone likes, you know, junk food, right? And All right, do you like it? Not enough flavor. What? Come on! Everyone loves that stuff, but okay, we're seeing Komasans. Fire attack, pretty darn cool. You're not really getting the whole deal of why Komasan's amazing right now, but don't you worry. Give it enough time, and Komasan will be a monster. Do I want him to be a monster, though? Honestly, eh, I don't really know. I mean, at the moment, he's doing okay for himself, but I don't know. I also want to show off some non-charming yokai. That was my biggest criticism in yokai. Okay, in yokai watch one, everyone was like, John, use yokai other than the charming tribe. What's your deal? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what my deal is. But yeah, I really, really want to get that yokai. So I think I'm going to cut things off for right here. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. It truly means a lot to me. We actually did a ton of stuff in this part. But in the next episode, we check out what Full Face Rock has in store for us here in Mount Middleton. See you guys then. Bye.